Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Hebrews chapter 5 verse 14, Romans chapter 8 verse 3, and Psalms chapter 28 verse 9. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for the love you have shown us. Thank you for grace, for hope, Lord God, we have for tomorrow. We say thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 14. But solid food is for the mature, for those who have their powers of discernment trained by constant practice to distinguish good from evil. All right. And so, um, you know, as we're reading this verse, um, we've had this verse so many times and, um, you know, I love the word because it's so different every single time. And even when the meaning behind it is the same, because our life has changed a little and we've grown a little, and we, we, we practice our discernment a little bit more. It means different things to us as we mature. Right. And so that's what this is about. It's about, you know, um, having to mature in Christ. And so I love the fact that it's food that it is giving as an example, food, um, solid food. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to swallow something whole <laughs> without chewing it, unchewed food. Yeah. It's, it's almost impossible, right? And it hurts it you have to chew it up you have to it, it is impossible to get it down if you don't chew it up some things even when you chew them up are hard to swallow right because some of them may be dry um depending on who cooked it <laughs> you know it, it's it, all sorts of things can um make it hard to swallow and get down what you're trying to um digest what you're trying to get down your throat and so it says solid food is for the mature for those who have their powers of discernment trained by constant practice to distinguish good from evil. So when we're trying to digest the things that Christ is telling us, you know, it could be hard. That's how, that's how it is. It could be hard to swallow. It could be hard to swallow when God tells you to stop doing something you've been doing forever right something that you always do something that brings you comfort something that you like right um the, those things are hard right when god's telling you to give something up that you like and you don't want to give up right um it could be as simple as eating a food a type of food or it could be you know smoking it could be drinking. It could be um, serving in church. You know, these can be tougher pills to swallow if you have an an area where you, you know, don't want to be. And God is saying, okay, I want you to do that, right? Or I want you to not do that. Right. And so, you know, serving people who don't want to be served or or being in a job where people are resisting you. Right. Or or going the opposite direction, even though you're trying to help them, that could be a tough pill to swallow, especially if you are trying to do them well or help them or do good to them. Right. And 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 for some reason they are resisting. Right. And so, you know. We have to be mature. We have to be able to distinguish good from evil. And that can be a task because sometimes good doesn't always look good. And evil can present itself as if it's good sometimes. And we know that it's not always, right? And so that's why we're the parents, right? We tell the child, okay, eat the food 
okay, let me chop this one up for you, right? And so that's how God treats us. God will show us where the food is. Sometimes he'll chop it up a little bit smaller so you can digest it, right? He might not tell you to quit smoking or quit eating this or do this. He might tell you to just decrease by one. And he doesn't tell you why, right? Or 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 decrease this here just a little bit. Or or go over here and do this one thing, right? And then come back, right? When when you digest it in bits, it's not so bad, right? But when you when you try to eat the whole elephant, it's not it's not gonna be a good thing, right? When you take a tiny bite at a time, it's usually a lot better. But as we grow older or more mature in our faith, we can digest more, we can take more, right? But that still doesn't mean that it's easy. That still doesn't mean that it's a, an easy pill to swallow. Sometimes God will tell you to t- stay away from places and it doesn't make sense, right? Um Yesterday, I was um, in a store and the Lord was showing me that I didn't have a place there anymore in that place. And so, you know, we need to be careful where we're going as we mature. We need to be careful, you know, the type of things that we do. Right. Because as we become more spiritually sensitive, we can sense different things. We can sense certain spirits. We can sense that things are changing. Things are a little less comfortable than we used to feel when we were in that place. Right. So we need to be careful and listen for the voice of the Holy Spirit and not have a hard and heart because we're so used to doing an action. We need to make sure that we realize that God has done the heavy lifting for us through Christ Jesus, through his son, right? And so because he did it through his son, it, Christ fulfilled the whole law, right? He's not asking us to do it. He's not asking us to fulfill the whole law. He's saying, follow me, right? He's saying, follow me. That's cutting a, a little piece over here for you. Now you eat this, right? And as you grow more and more, he's leading you more and more, right? We are, we are, having to eat things that sometimes are harder to digest as believers as we are growing it says but solid food is for the mature for those who have their powers of discernment trained by constant practice to distinguish good from evil god is presenting many believers with things that are tougher pills to swallow right and and yeah right? Vet that spirit, pray. I hate saying vetting the spirit, but um, try the spirit, right? Um, Make sure that it is of God, but be willing to do what the father says, even if it's hard, even if it's a heavy weight, right? Just know that as you increase in your strength, he's going to increase the weight, right? Um, As he increase, if he makes your yoke easy and your burden light but you know as you are growing and you can lift heavier he does heavier things sometimes and so you know we have to be able to distinguish good from evil right and and sometimes as the terrain is changing as this world is changing it is becoming ever e- more evil and and sometimes God will cut a path off from us and say hey no more don't do that anymore right and we have to not harden our hearts against him we we should not just say oh it don't take all that right we don't need to have that mentality we don't need to be people who turn away from God's voice because we're not used to obeying things like that right so even if it's uncomfortable even if it's a little scratchy right even if it's a little dry just drink some water you're gonna be okay right? Ask God for help. Ask God for help. As you encounter the difficulty, ask God for help. Lord, this is feeling really uncomfortable right here. And I need help. I need help because I don't want to follow in the wrong direction. Help me. 
right? I want to be a person who hears from you. Lord God, you see this resistance right here in the spirit. I don't feel comfortable right here. Take away this spirit. I bind this uncomfortable spirit because I know this is not me. I know this is not me talking. I know this is the enemy trying to convince me that I should not do this or I should not listen or I should should rebel against this. I want you to take that spot away right there. Lord God, ease this spot. Bind this spirit in the name of Jesus and rebuke this. I rebuke this spirit to the chambers of hell, right? You have to to take that thing that you're feeling and take authority over it, right? You must take authority over it these spiritual forces that sometimes try to stop you from maturing in certain areas, right? Because, you know, we have to be willing to bring everything before the throne, right? And ask God for help with it. And if it's a power that he's already given you to take authority over that thing, you take authority over that thing, cast it out in the name of Jesus. Amen. And and God is going to show you how to become more powerful and more specific about those things. Because, you know, you don't need to just pray general prayer when you're feeling specific feelings, right? When you're feeling specific ways, you need to pray specifically, right? You need to cut. You need to use a very precise knife when you're trying to cut away during surgery, right? You don't want to use a butter knife when you're trying to cut away a a piece of cancer from a neuron, right? You want to use a very fine knife, right? And so in that same way, God is, is maturing us and he's growing us and he's making us more effective and more powerful in our prayer. So we need to be very precise about what we want God to do. And if he's already giving you the power and the authority over a certain thing or spirit, he, he's going to show you what it is. And then you can take authority over that thing. Holy Spirit is going to lead you and guide you into all truth in that thing. And he's going to help you push forward. Amen. So you are maturing. Keep maturing, right? Keep maturing. Don't resist it and say, oh, this is so uncomfortable and just stop, right? No, that's not how you mature. You have to be in constant practice of distinguishing good from evil. Amen. All right, let's look at this second verse. Romans chapter eight, verse three. For God has done what the law weakened by the flesh could not do. By sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. You got to read it like that, right? You got to, you got to put your foot down, you know, when you read that part, he condemned sin in the flesh. Hallelujah. Christ defeated it already. Christ did it already. Hallelujah. He did it for you. He did it for me. Right. So the heavy lifting has been done. Right. The the constant practice, that's the hard work has already been done, right? Now, all we have to do is chew up the food, right? He brought us to the food. All we got to do is chew it up. He already cut it for you. All you got to do is put it in your mouth and 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 chew it up really good and swallow it, right? Even, even Jesus is going to help you digest it, right? <laughs> so we need to realize what's in our power and what's not in our power. Christ did the heavenly lifting of following all the law, each and every bit. But Holy Spirit has now come and he's going to lead us and guide us into all truth. That means that for you specifically, something may be tough to chew, but guess what? Christ already defeated sin, right? Yeah. Smoking may be hard to stop doing, but, but he's going to show you, he's going to lead you and guide you into all truth and, and cut that thing down to a precision of what you need to do 
right? He he's gonna he's gonna show you how he's already did the hard part, right? This is what's in your authority. Take authority over that thing and walk that thing out step by step, right? Follow me one step at a time. Follow me. That's what Christ wants you to do, right? So so yeah, it, all, that law right? All those rules and all that law that he told you to follow, you know, that, that, that was the old covenant, right? We're now under a new covenant. We're under the blood of Christ. Therefore we follow Holy Spirit and we're under the grace covering, right? Does grace mean you should just keep smoking? You need to listen to what Holy Spirit is telling you to do right? If Holy Spirit says quit, you need to quit, right? We need to come under the grace covering and obey Holy Spirit, right? So yeah, sometimes it's a tough, tough piece of meat, right? But that doesn't mean you stop chewing, right? You chew it until you can get it down, right? And and don't worry, God's going to help you do the rest. And he he's going to be there for you. He's going to show you, okay, now take authority over, over this, this, um, desire, this, this very specific desire that you get right after you, um, wake up in the morning or, 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 you know, take a, take a authority over that nicotine spirit, right? And he's going to tell you who to bind, right? And, and what to lose. And he's going to tell you, you know, how to be delivered. And sometimes those things are harder than and, and harder as you as you grow and mature in him. But he's going to make your yoke easy and your burden light. And you can rest on that. Amen. Because he's carrying you through it. He's going to carry you through it. Yes, it's a heavier, heavier weight, right? But guess what? He's giving you the power. He's giving you the authority. He's going to show you how to bind and loose. He's going to show you what to bind and loose. He's going to show you how to get that elephant digested, right? One little bite at a time. Amen. All right, let's look down at this third verse. Psalms chapter 28, verse 9. Oh, save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Hallelujah. So, um, you know, here David is, is, is crying out to God for help. And he's saying, you know, answer me, Lord God, when I call, don't turn away from me. You know, and he, he's, he's saying these things to God because he knows God is faithful to answer. Right. And he knows God is faithful to help him. It says, oh, this is the last verse in Psalms 28. Um, it says, oh, save your people and bless your heritage. God is going to bless you. God is going to save you. Right. Remember, yes, you are saved. But guess what? Salvation is continuous because it's one of those things that you can't see to its fruition until you pass to the other side. Right. Salvation has so many different meanings. Right. Um, but guess what? It is one of those things that, you know, you're going to get to it. Right. You're going to see this thing come to pass, right? When we enter those gates, oh, you'll know what salvation is. What has he saved you from, right? What has he saved you from right now? And then when you pass over, you're going to truly know what he has saved you from. He's going to give you full meaning and full understanding to the word salvation. It says, oh, save your people. So there are his people, right? But he's going to save them, right? That means that he's going to save them in the distresses that they're in right now, as well as in the future. So, oh, save your people and bless your heritage. So those who have followed after you, right? Those who have been your seed, right? God has a heritage. God has a people, right? And we are his people. And so we need to continue to chew whatever it is that he is giving us. He is going to be our shepherd. He's going to show us the way. Let's look, look at the second part of the verse. Be their shepherd and carry 
them forever. So have you ever seen a shepherd with a stick or a, or a goad, right? A stick is like, you know, you're going to tap the sheep on the side. A goad is like a sharpened version of it that pokes, kind of helps the ones that don't want to go, right? But guess what? He's also going to carry us. He knows when you're weak, he can put you on his shoulder. Have you ever seen when they put the sheep, they throw the sheep across their neck or their shoulder and they carry them, right? The sheep is so comfortable. You don't see the sheep crying at that point. They usually are just happy to be held by the shepherd right? He's going to bear you up. He is carrying you even in this tough situation where you don't see the way out. He is a God of the impossible. He makes the impossible possible. I was talking to my daughter the other day and um, I had, she was <laughs> trying to do a handstand or something like that and she was upset because she couldn't do it and I was telling her how to apply the word but I, I was thinking just in general you know you have to I said you have to find a scripture and you know you have to find some part of the word and you have to pray you know and and tell God you know what you want and and how you want to accomplish it and he is going to help you right and she said I can do all all things through Christ Jesus who gives me strength <laughs> and I was like well that was a good word right because the thing is you know you don't realize that your kids they listen right they they know the word too people know the word and we need to know the word we need to take the sword that is uh, applicable to that situation this may be close combat so you might need a little knife right? So you need to get in there and get it done, right? Cut that food up, get it down. However you got to get it down, get it down and allow Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you into all truth. God is going to bear you up. He's going to be your shepherd. He's going to lead you and guide you, but don't turn away from it just because it's a big piece of meat, right? Don't turn away from it because in your practicing of and distinguishing of good and evil, you're not used to seeing things like this, right? God has a great heritage. He has a great blessing waiting for you in heaven. It is not just um, something that you are going to be able to wrap your mind around here. It's going to be beyond what you could have ever imagined. Amen. And so follow him. Um, you know, be a part of that constant practice. Be a part of those who distinguish good from evil. Be a part of the mature body. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for maturity in you. Help us to produce much fruit. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, take care and be blessed.